Let's discuss the axiom of corresponding pairs of angles in a pair of parallel lines. What is an axiom and how is it different from a proof? Axioms are not proved. Axioms are statements which are considered to be true without any controversy. Statements of the axiom are taken for granted. The axiom of corresponding angles states that if a transversal intersects two parallel lines then each pair of corresponding angles is equal. Let's understand the statement of this axiom in a little more detail. Let's consider three pencils P1, P2 and P3 as shown here. What can we say about angle X and angle Y? Well, we can see that these angles are not equal. Let's think of ways of making these two angles X and Y equal. What can we do to make P1 and P2 parallel? We can rotate the pencil P2 downwards so that pencil P1 becomes parallel to pencil P2. Now we can see that pencils P1 and P2 are parallel. Now let's check angles X and Y whether they are equal or not. If you keep a protractor here and measure angle X and measure angle Y also with the protractor, you will find that measure of X comes out equal to measure of Y when P1 and P2 are parallel. Now can we conclude that when parallel lines are intersected by a transversal then pair of corresponding angles are equal. Let's do one more trial before we reach our conclusion. Now we will rotate pencil P3 so that the angle which is formed by pencil P3 which is the transversal here with the parallel pencils P1 and P2 changes. So you can see we have rotated the pencil P3 which is the transversal here in this direction so that this pencil makes a different angle with the parallel pencils P1 and P2. Suppose this angle is P and this angle Q. Once again making use of the protractor we will measure the angles P and Q. Are they still equal? Yes, when you use protractor, you will find that angle P is equal to angle Q. So corresponding angles are still equal. What this means is, as long as the lines are parallel, corresponding angles are equal no matter how small or large they are. So we can conclude that each pair of corresponding angles is equal when two parallel lines are intersected by a transversal. So what this means is, angle A is equal to angle B. So A is equal to B. Angle P is equal to angle Q. So P is equal to Q. Angle E is equal to angle F. And angle D is equal to angle C. Let's summarize what we have learnt here. When lines are parallel, then each pair of corresponding angles is equal. If any pair of corresponding angles is equal, this implies lines are parallel.